She has the hots for him. And he's probably never going to see her again. <laughs> Guarantee she's dead. She'll die. She'll be killed somehow. Ramsay will like um, flail her or something. And he'll find her and it'll be like, ah! Guarantee at some point later on, something, some crazy shit like that will happen. Damn, this is intense. Who's this? Ethan? Oh, right. Are we playing someone else now? Ethan! Ooh. Oh, we're playing as Ethan. Oh, that's alright. That's cool. We can make him not be a dick. Or shall we? I couldn't find him. Could you? So I guess that's his older sister. He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win! I win! Oh. Congratulations, your lordship. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. Oh, right you silly here. Billy. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. That he did. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. You fucked some shit I up. I Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. We're not going to be a dick about what does this. What mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I won't change. I will I change. I know I'll change, I but I'm going to lie. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. Pretty much. Everyone Bring me wine. So I could have all the sweets I want. He's thinking along the right How fucking you lines. That simple. <laughs> it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. <laughs> you are the lord. Give me sweets. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Off we go. She is worried. What's She's the like matter? a nice character. Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced oh and God, certainly that was quick. unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Garrett. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Nah, Ethan. we got to do our lordly He's duty. demanding an audience with the Lord. And we ain't going to let we him talk really shit to us. We must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. I'm going to go over. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Oh, 
Why are they fucking tearing up? I'm just going to talk to some dickhead. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'll be back. We can play some fucking throw rocks at trees later, guys. Jesus. Ethan Thorister. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. I won't. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. I can handle this. It is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. Yeah, we should All be very tiptoe around him. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Well, we'll be fucking dead if we don't roll over, so I don't know. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Handshake. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger what into What a fucking myself. dick! I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I'm gonna be just silent for it. Aye. Hold your tongue. It's not you cat. Coward. Shut up. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Apologies. My apologies. Please forgive us. Forgive you? Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Wow, that language, Jesus. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't Shut been your fucking, fucking fat pile. Would, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's like, peace, as you were. Here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. I'm gonna dot dot dot. It was your man who started it. But it wasn't How do fucking you answer me. for your squire, Lord? He's Ethan. not here. What the fuck are we gonna he do? Acted in your name, and you are the Lord of this house. Well, we it. lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their time. Well, that's just wrong. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. Oh, shut up, I'm you not fatty. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean, no disrespect. She talked him down. Lady, considering your losses and all. But this. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. I've heard enough, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you. Then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. 
I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Some tensions building up here, Jesus. This is, this is interesting. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be brave as yeah, still when the fucking Snow psycho. arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ooh. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. Ooh. Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. Oh, 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 if oh, it's oh, presented oh. to her as it should be. Marjorie! Marjorie! Marjorie. Tyrell. Hottest woman in King's Landing by far. Oh my god. Where is she? Is this her underwear drawer? <gasps> damn it. Come on. Keep looking. Fuck this shit. Oh, damn it. We can't. Okay. Uh, oh no, we can back out. Um, right. That's, we're looking for underwear here. Jesus. Get what's all this shit. What are we even doing in here? Is this a room? I don't know. It must be, right? Underwear. Underwear. No, this is... Oh, wash butt. No. Okay. Uh, bed. Letter. Letter might be important. Letter from mother. Probably important. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. She's a nice woman, And can Marjorie. be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. This is, I, I like this already. We're jumping all over the place. We've got the wool. We've got the ironwoods. Now we're in King's Landing. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Uh, we'll let him in. We're going to be kind. No, it's fine. Come in. What does this gutter boy want? Is he going to snick something? What's he doing? You're begging your oh, Cole. Pardon, lady, but you all right? Fine. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Just pour the bucket in. Why are you doing one piece of coal at a time? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. Who also wants to That's get in I bed with her and have I've lesbian sex. Maybe before. please, please? You seem like good friends. Oh, yeah, we are. Scissoring all day. I saw Lady Marjorie <laughs> just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Fucking Cersei, what a bitch. A, a cool bitch, but still a bitch. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. Oh, of course they I were. I couldn't hear much, but... Oh, what did they say? Tell me! What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and... And House uh -oh. Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You, you can be my little spy. Things when people don't even know you're there. That's a good trait. Wait, I want to recruit you. Good night, my lady. <gasps> Dribble. Lady Marjorie, you're early. That's... I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh man, it's actually voice acted by oh, her. There's something we must discuss. <gasps> Having minor heart attack. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaid. Oh, she's such a, a nice dear woman. Friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. 
I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered You're is very beyond kind. imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. With Joffrey! To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Oh, so we've got to fuck off as well now. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Not good. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and, by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. You've got nothing. I cannot afford well. any conflict with Cersei with I'll the wedding I'll do as you so ask. Near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Don't and get Marjorie Tyrell in trouble. I knew I could trust Can't you. Can't hurt that pretty face. Oh my god. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Here we go. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Oh man. He is fucking eyeing her up. <laughs> oh man. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Oh man, this is this is tough. This is, I like the political tiptoeing around. Good this is fucking good. It's like the team. It's just. Oh man. So Garrett just sort of brutalised everything, and now we've got to do all the tiptoeing around, the political chit-chat to make sure no one gets fucking stabbed for no reason. Oh, it's Tyrion! Oh my god, it's Tyrion! <sighs> ah, you can do this. Dun, 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 Oh, we can't strafe. I was going to strafe all around the place. Why is everyone looking at us? What the fuck are you looking at? Hey? Ah, Lady Look at Marjorie. That aren't bitch you face. looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Kneel before. Make sure your you Grace. show the respects and shit. There we go. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Got that cold hard bitch house voice. House Forrester <laughs> is the Northern House loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from you. Yeah, we're girl. loyal until we fucking shank you up for killing everyone. Is your family everyone. loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true King, Your Grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house We didn't trace. start the war! We just joined in! Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Oh, I shit. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the King can expect from Oh, for God's sake. If you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roos Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Yeah, Forrester. rely on us, we can do it. Don't Forrester kill us. Ironwood does seem rather unique. 